Hey everybody, it's Mike here again and welcome back to another 5 minute gaming with Mike. Today I'm going to talk about a game that my friend Shane Monroe considers untouchable. This is one of his favorite games and anytime someone says, oh yeah, it's just like Robotron, Shane says, it ain't. There is no other thing but Robotron. This game was made by Eugene Jarvis, who is, I was fortunate to have listened to him talk live one time. He is a crazy, insane, super smart, intelligent person. And he owns the company Raw Thrills, which is still making games today. You may see at the arcade, uh, at the bowling alley, they're everywhere. So Eugene, this was one of his greatest accomplishments that is still considered today one of the best. So let's get into it. And when it comes to Robotron 2084, it's important to take a look at the attract sequence because there's a whole story behind this game. If I were to just start playing it, you'd miss out on, on all the detail and thought that went into this. Inspired by his never-ending quest for progress, in 2084, man perfects the Robotrons, a robot species so advanced that man is inferior to his own creation. Sounds kind of like Terminator, doesn't it? Guided by their infallible logic, the Robotrons conclude, the human race must die. You are the last hope of mankind. Due to a generic engineering error, you possess superhuman powers. Your mission is to stop the Robotrons, save the last human family. Mommy, Daddy, and Mikey! Hey, this game must have been made for me. Sadly, it wasn't because I suck at it, and I always did. The forced of ground roving unit network terminator, Robotron, seek to destroy you. So, read along, and the Hulk Robotrons, you can see, can't beat them. But I, I'm telling you, I was never good at this. I'll play it for you, but I every time I put a quarter in this game, my game was over too fast. And it, for me, it was all about making that quarter stretch. Lastly, beware of the ingenious brain Robotrons that possess the power to reprogram humans into sinister programs. A lot of thought went into this game. And as you struggle to save humanity, be sure to avoid electrodes in your path. And with that, let's play. And I call this series of games the Defender sound set because everything sounds like Defender. So this is called a twin stick shooter, meaning you use both joysticks. One moves your character and the other shoots. And yeah, easy, right? I'm, I'm kicking butt, right? And I forgot to say to people, but you know, after, after that, it gets hard real fast. See, dead. I tried to touch daddy to save him and I died. So let's go help mommy. And I think that's all the humans. Now I just got a white, and of course the Hulk guys, they're like, Hulk, I can't kill them. I just have to run my butt off from them. Now these guys, I always called them gnomes because they kind of look like gnomes to me, but I really don't know what they are. They're obviously Robotrons. But you know, sometimes when you're a kid, you just get something in your head and it sticks. So here come the gnomes and I got one guy. Okay, advancing on to the next level and uh, it gets hard fast. And there are people that are really, really good at this game. And Shane, he's good at this game. I am not. But we'll try again. Maybe I can uh, do a little better the second time around. I'm glad that I can't shoot mommy. So, again, level one is so easy. And you think, yeah, this game's a piece of cake. And it is so far from that. Hey, I saved Mikey! I saved myself. Thank goodness. And here come the gnomes after me. All right, I'm doing pretty good on a level three. I've been playing about 45 seconds. So far, my quarter has lasted me 45 seconds. And there's Mikey. And again, now I am dying too fast. I'm down to my last man. Just like that. How can I survive? Can I make that quarter just last a little bit more? Oh, level four. Oh, oh boy. All right, and I gotta get the heck out of the center. That's one thing I did learn playing this game is get out of the center quick. And then I just, I'm basically going in a circular pattern trying to wipe them out. Eh, eh, I guess that's kind of working for me. Uh-oh, the, the brains are here, folks. They are going to convert my innocent family into bad, evil robot somethings. 
But I'm on my last man, and you know, look at that. I'm, I'm, I've hung in there. Oh, there's, and that is the end, folks. So, I guess my one word of advice is in the future, you know, watch out for the robots because they could turn you into that. And with that, I hope you enjoyed a new episode of 5-Minute Gaming on Robotron 2084. I am Mike, and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching The Watchmen. Please click on here to watch other episodes, and be sure to hit that like button too. And please subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you'll always be alerted to any future episodes. It really helps us out, and we appreciate it. We'll see you next time, and remember, we'll be watching.